Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Straight from the Lab, SEO's Hot Theory Test Results Revealed. I'm your moderator, Zoe Fernandez from Merkel's marketing team. To lead today's webinar, we are joined by two industry experts, Melody Petula, who's the Senior Manager of SEO at Merkel, and Kyle Blanchett, Data Analyst from Botify. And now I'll hand it over to Melody. Great. Thanks so much, Zoe. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, we're really excited to be presenting our test results for you today. Just to run through a quick agenda, we will start with some details around our testing methodology, how the tests were actually conducted. Um, we'll also run through a bit of verbiage that you should be familiar with to understand the test results. Then we'll really go through the meat of the test results. And for every group of tests, we also have a collection of SEO takeaways for you to take back to your team. And with that, I will pass it to Kyle to talk about testing methodology. Great. Thanks, Melody. Um, so yeah, as Melody mentioned, for, uh, for any test like this, it's really important to keep in mind uh, what type of data we're using and where it comes from. Um, so throughout the, the webinar today, we'll be using data from a variety of sources, um, including crawl data, server log data, um, any sort of organic visit data from Google Analytics, as well as uh, Google Search Console data, which is where we get our rankings and click throughs from. Um, it's also important to note that some of these analyses are from individual case studies, uh, so just looking at kind of like a website by website basis. Um, but where possible, we did combine data across multiple sites. Uh, the sites were similar in size and from a similar vertical. Uh, we tried to make that as comprehensive as possible. Um, and also just to note that there are some kind of industry-wide insights that are pulled from Botify's study of 270 sites. Um, so this was a presentation that our team shared at SMEC Paris. Uh, that includes crawl and log data for just over, I think it was like half a billion URLs. Um, so a pretty substantial data set there, and we can get some really good industry insights from there. Um, and a few of the theories that we'll be covering uh, that Melody will get a little bit more into are uh, just basically crawl factors like internal, internal linking, um, some mobile insights, as well as getting a little bit deeper in the weeds with JavaScript and how Google is actually crawling uh, websites. Um, there's also a few important definitions to keep in mind today. Um, the first one is going to be the, the distinction between active pages versus not active pages. Uh, so anything that we call an active page today will just be uh, one URL on a website that's received at least one organic visit in the last 30 days. Uh, another important one is active pages ratio. Uh, so this is where we're really referring to the percentage of URLs uh, in that band or in that data set that have received at least one visit. So if um, if we see an active pages ratio of 20%, that means that 20% of the URLs in that data set have received at least one organic visit in the last 30 days. <clears throat> um, another important one that uh, should be familiar to a lot of SEOs is PageRank. So as Botify crawls websites, we also calculate our own version of PageRank using uh, the same algorithms that Google does as they crawl websites. Um, so this is kind of our uh, calculated importance score, essentially, of a website. So we're looking at uh, the volume of internal links and where those internal links come from as far as how important those pages are. Um, frequency, this refers to crawl frequency when we're looking at log data. Um, so anything that refers to crawl frequency is going to refer to the number of days with crawls from Google in a 30-day period. So when we see a frequency of 20%, that's going to equal six days with crawls from Google. Um, and finally, in links, that's just kind of our metric for internal links. So when we think about in-links, uh, if a page has five in-links, that means that there are five uh, internal links on that website pointing to the page that we're looking at. Now I'll pass it back over to Melody for our first uh, set of theories. Yeah, so there's a lot of different factors we could have looked at for these tests. One of the big ones we really wanted to drill into was internal linking. As SEOs, we talk about internal links all the time. We talk about wanting to have more links to our pages, wanting to have more authoritative links to our pages. We want to optimize our anchor text. But we haven't really seen any data pointing to how those actually influence our performance. So we wanted to break down a few internal linking theories to look at the volume of internal links pointing to a page and how that impacts your crawl, average position, or a page's likelihood to get traffic. We also wanted to look at the prominence or authoritativeness of a page's internal link 
profile and how that impacts rankings as well. And then lastly, we'll look at anchor text, particularly exact match anchor text versus anchor text variation to see if that has um, any impact on our rankings. We'll jump into the first theory here. For the first one, we are looking at um, testing if pages with more links pointing to them, so more in links, are more likely to be crawled. The result of this was um, pretty, pretty clear that yes, this is definitely true. Yeah, definitely. And just to, to kind of explain this chart a little bit, um, the, the x-axis of the chart is actually are just ranges of the number of in-links that are pointing to a set of pages. So we can see towards the left end of the chart, um, we have a set of pages that have between 0 and 10 internal links pointing to them. And on the far right, we have a set of pages that have more than 190 links pointing to them. Um, so you can see there's kind of a clear trend uh, for this particular site. And this is uh, generally true for almost every site that we look at uh, at Botify where we have access to log data. Um, where the more internal links that pages have, uh, the more likely they are to be crawled. So you can see that there are uh, a lot more sections of the bars towards the right side of the chart that have, um, you know, around 20% uh, crawl frequency and even between 20 and 79%. For our second theory, we wanted to look at the sheer volume of internal links. I know we talk about the volume of internal links as SEOs pretty regularly. So we wanted to analyze the impact that it has on rankings with the theory that having more internal links pointing to a page makes them rank higher. Our results here were a little bit inconclusive. I'll let Kyle expand upon that a bit. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I guess what we, what we found in this analysis is that pages with more internal links do tend to rank better, um, but that's not really universally true across the board. And I think it's important to keep in mind there that internal linking obviously isn't the only ranking factor when it comes to how well pages are able to rank and how they perform in search results. Um, so you can see in the chart, we do see a pretty strong correlation with high rankings and more internal links. Um, but there's also some, some sections of the chart towards the left of the chart that also have a pretty good share of, you know, position one, two, and three rankings um, that have less internal links. So I think there's a, a slight correlation, uh, but it's not, again, the only factor that goes into how well pages rank. For our third theory, um, this one's a little bit similar to our last theory, but we also wanted to look at the impact that the size of the internal link profile has on a page's ability to get traffic, not just its average ranking position. The results here were fairly conclusive with um, pages with a larger internal link profile being significantly more likely to receive traffic in a 30-day period. Yep, and this is a great example of um, that active pages ratio that we just talked about. So we can see uh, towards the right side of this chart, we have the pages that have um, 190 or more links pointing to them. 33% uh, of those pages are, uh, more, or are likely to get visits. And on the other side of things, the pages that have between 0 and 10 internal links pointing to them, uh, only about 4 tenths of a percent of those pages um, are the ones that are getting visits on a 30, in a 30-day period. Um, so a really strong correlation here as well. Uh, so we can see that not only do uh, having more internal links pointing to a page lead to um, more visits, but it also leads to better rankings. 